You guys, you guys. You guys, I don't think he sees me, you guys. I think I'm invisible, you guys. I don't think he's gonna spot me, you guys. I'm safe. He ain't never gonna find me. He might have found me. Or he never moves. And you have to walk up to him to make the boss fight brother, happen. May you finally rest in peace. I'm sorry, Reek. I'd say keep your guard up, but I just want you dead. That's not a nice thing to say after that last thing that was said. Uh, was your, were you, was your name pronounced Ka Karui? This is hard. <laughs> These names are hard. Uh, freeze you. I'm looking through you. You're all the same. Alright, he's a third dead and I've got full top. He can heal, alright. More damage stacks. Uh, anybody need some more energy? Boop, 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 boop. Add it to the pile. Oh, he's summoning. But if I just kill you real quick, then that won't matter no more. Double kill. Damn. B -b -b boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. At last. Now that we have all four tokens, I can reclaim my hammer. That was astonishing. Any secret wine puzzles? At last. Now that we have all four tokens, I can reclaim my hammer. I have 0.3 emotions that I know how to convey with my voice. Some of the voice acting is just super rough, and some of them are pretty alright, and it's super mixed. It's astonishingly mixed. I need to heal you. And you get a heal. And everyone else is fine, actually. As it turns out. There were boots, right? 2% intelligence, boots. I'll take two. Because that's how shoes work. You 2 7 shield. You're the only shield user right now. One, two, five versus two, two, seven. More defense, loss of strength, because the other one has two strength. But you're not really a strength user as much, kind of, maybe, I think. I do feel weird that my tank doesn't even use a shield, but, you know, I keep shields around. I can switch to them if I choose to think that that's the next thing I want to do. But this, but if I do that, then nobody's going to be using two-handed weapons, I think. Unless I want to turn, uh, Rogue Boy into that guy. J -j 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 Joska. <laughs> Listen, I play a lot of games. Sometimes some of the names get not lost in the jumble. It's fine. Uh Yeah, we've we fully explored that area. Uh what does that thing on this on the map mean? Why don't we go take a wooksy? Oh, it's the puzzle. Okay. I thought it was a strange door. It would be a little weird for them to introduce weird new door symbols this late. Unless it's another Metroidvania style thing that stops me from progressing and whatnot. Do we need a rest? Not necessarily. But I could always do a save. I keep saying I'm going to do vendor stuff off camera, but I have not been doing it at all. Where was it? Is it on this side? Hello. That looks safe. Admittedly, we're doing pretty alright so far. And generally speaking, if you're doing just fine, then the longer you put off optimizations, like doing lots of vendor stuff, uh, that just means you get to buy a higher level thing. Hey there. 
Finding this floor dial does nothing without the proper tokens in place. Oh. Could it be a wrong key? Or could something else be the issue? Okay. So they, there's plips everywhere that they match. And now you need to be made in, into a bird? <laughs> I'm guessing I got the torso wrong. Oh, those are kind of like two birds. Is that a fish? Oh, that's the head I want. That's the right head. Hmm, let's look at a different one. Goat. Will I, uh... That's a fish. They're definitely not a goat. That's a goat. Could some of them be wrong? They seem very not wrong. Okay. Well, I feel like a fish is probably pretty easy. So let's make a fish. There's the bloopy face. There's the scaly body. And there's the poopy butt. Pata! It's not matching up. I must be doing something wrong. Enchantment holds Stoneheart in place. We will use the tokens held by fallen stonemasons to position this floor appropriately. What? Hello? Help? Excuse me? Anyone understand what's happening here? Where was that? I was thinking I'd go back for the glowy thing. Being all turned. Okay, I guess it was in here, wasn't it? Being all turned around about how this layout works. Maybe the glowy thing is relevant. Hey, money. That's a lot of money. God damn. Money drops are really big in this game. Compared to any actual money you, f you would get via vendoring, the uh, amount of money you get from just picking it up is astonishingly large. I'm trying to be very careful step by step to make sure I don't have to take any extra steps. Shit.
It says it's like right here, but I don't I don't see it. Hmm. As far as I can tell, these glyphs should be in the right spaces. Maybe there's like an order to it? A fishy fish. Fishy fish? These are the first birds I've seen since the curse set in here. A fishy fish. Wait, is it the wrong tail? Wait, no, that's got like a... That could be it. Yeah. Fish that spoke. It begged me not to eat it. I did not oblige his request. Oh, that's terrifying. But also, uh, I guess you mentioned them one at a time. There we go. That isn't the most clearly communicated puzzle mechanic. <laughs> kind of confusing, honestly. Uh, maybe? What would a goat's mid-body look like? Are there any clear hooves? I think that's a pig, because of the curly tail. Those are claws. I guess those those might be the only ones that are clearly hooves, or the or that one. Hey. If I go back to the previous legs, that might match up. one is my new favorite. Is it because it's solving problems for you? Alright. Fox. That's probably a fox. Oh, that was probably already the right body, actually. That's probably the fox. Creatures. It's been released from the spell, but it's stuck in a fucked up rock. Are we, are we okay here? Let it never be said I failed to keep my promises. That would only be you, darling. Anna, I... I thank you. Kella approached a mighty stone heart trapped in the rock. Before she could touch it, the enchanted tool exploded from the rock that encased it in a flash of blinding light. It fell to the ground. As Kella reclaimed her hammer, she felt no sense of solace, only solemn determination. The hammer's magic will reinstate shattered pathways, such as the one beside us. From there, we'll collect any chains we see. Once we have enough, I'll imbue them with a spell that will allow us to trap her. We just having this fun conversation directly in front of her? We can also pick this from the menu. And now we have this hammer. Admit, that is impressive. Nito. And now she's a character in the party? She said she's joined the party. Hmm. Where, though? Maybe you can only add her to the party. Wow, those statues are very different qualities from each other. Oh. 
I didn't even see the guy come up. Those two statues look weird. I must have to manually add her, right? You could use a resurrection spell now. Uh, no, the problem is they were already resurrected. That's the issue. Please stop bringing- please stop getting them back up. Party management. Your active party may consist of four members. You can switch your characters at campfires. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be at campfires. Due to lack of menu option. There she is. Oh, there's the party screen. Let's switch you guys. Give me a chance to see how she works. I hope the people you don't have with you right now get experience, because... That would, I always find this, that rough when people that aren't in the fight don't get experience because then you don't want to experiment as much because the more you switch, switch people out, the lower level you are. Especially in a game like this where, uh... In a, in a game like this, you, uh... How am I trying, what am I trying to say? Uh, there's a limited number of enemies and quests and so on, so... You can't grind. That was always be weaker as a result of the fact that you switch people out a bit sometimes. Which cave? I don't know. Let's check it out though. It's time to finally go back to them hammer locations. I may have not warped to the right spot. Where was the hammer location? There it is. I think I get to it over there. I'm close-ish. And as per my previous fears, we now have a new character that I, I'm guessing we probably have to equip with items. Which is potentially another reason not to sell things off, unless it's sufficiently and truly made irrelevant by older items. Uh, by being, by being, like, you can probably sell your, your fifth best weapon, for example. That isn't being used already. Like, at, at, when a certain number of things are piled above it, then you can kind of give up on something. But if it's, uh, not on that level of, a, of irrelevancy, it may be more dangerous. Ta -da. Let's actually look at her character first, though. Hmm. Becomes pre-equipped with skills? Yep. It's interesting how much the, uh... Characters you get do not want you to specialize in things. Every character I get, the moment I get them, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of a tree as fast as possible and get that cool thing that's usually hiding down there. Going for that headshot. Yeah, you got the everyone... The everyone gets energy skill, you got the giant lightning storm. Bash. So deal damage and then stun. I don't think you guys have that, right? I think... I feel like I might have had that in the prologue. Decent chance of stun, but mainly just a bunch of a damage. Bunch of strength boosts, which is all they give you here. Lore. Summon underworld creatures. Huh. Summon a creature from the underworld to aid you. The summoned creature's type and strength depends on the level of the spellcaster. Their type is based on your level? They might mean, like, there's tiers as opposed to elements. It'd be unfortunate if it was like you switch to the elemental weak, uh, an element that's less effective in the zone because you're higher level or something. Crush. Crush an enemy with a magically created rock and deal physical damage. 
She's the first character out of a summon. That's the most interesting thing she has, but she does have she does have this earth element too, which is apparently physical. Yeah. The lagmite. Ignores half their armor. Falling rocks. It just has multiple target. It specifies in a small area, so I'm guessing it doesn't hit everybody. Unlike many, many multi-target multi spells. Energy shield allows you to tar uh, the targets to use their energy uh, as hit points for two turns. It also grants 10% physical resistance. Hmm. That's a familiar one. Spellcasters had that before. Kind of a bummer of a skill. Good for defenses, but also kind of a bummer just because you will lose your ability to do anything besides auto attack, practically, if you're being hit. Ooh. I'm liking this middle tree. Heal 25% health of all party members and re remove all debuffs from them. Nope. Everything gets plus one. Reduced energy cost. Voices from the deep. Evoke terrifying voices from deep to madden all enemies with a 44% ch chance for two turns. Hmm. So about half of the enemies will likely become maddened. Cleave. Attack everybody with melee. Grueling. Hit an enemy with a grueling strike to deal damage and make it sleep. Bleeding. Multi it's a multi-target, uh, multi-turn damage. Perfect strike. Complete a perfect strike against an enemy to deal bunch of damage and maybe kill them instantly. Hmm. Certainly tempted by some of these options. I think I'm most interested though in this middle tree because it has a heal and an AoE fear. Other than that, like, I could just attack. We'll, we'll see. I'll probably focus that first. What are, what are her stats like? High strength? Hmm. It's based on weapon damage, so giving them a weapon that's actually strong would probably be a good idea. She likes hammers in particular. There it is. Stone hearts. 3 to 11. Do I have anything that's better? The halberd, apparently. Oh, she is, it is a one-handed weapon. So the battle axe should be a clear upgrade. But she requires 35 strength, so she has to get she has to do some catching up. Donahart has 5% crit damage, 2 strength, 2 intelligence, 25% armor piercing, 5% chance to stun for one turn. That is not a very high stun chance. It's a bonus, I suppose, but it's not a lot. Whereas this is kind of nice. More damage, more strength. More initiative. Let's just give her a shield for now. But I think I might make her the one... I think I might uh, switch him to being uh, sword and board. See a shield and sword. And then her to two-handed weapons. Make her the strength attacker and let him continue to be the tank, which he kind of already is, but also give him a proper shield to complement that. Then we have... Then, we, then we'll have a spellcaster. A two-handed weapons character, a shield character, and a bow character, which is a pretty cohesive party. I might... might be done with Yoska. <laughs> we'll see, I suppose. I forgot to equip the rest of that character. Like, boy, did I. <laughs> this is kind of alright. 5% chance to fear. That's actually not that big of a deal. Compared to just having better defenses and some bonus vigor.
There's five vigor, vigor and poison resist, strength. Mmm, strength could let her actually use some of these other weapons. Using the two-headed axe. Where is that? The battle axe is here. Nope, 40 strength. We're not there yet. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Might even be able to get more strength out of items over here. Looks like the only stat I'm getting over here is a little bit of vigor. I'm not quite ready for the two-headed axe. Neither are you, apparently? What? 37 strength. Oh, they have the same strength at the moment. Oh, it was creating a paradox. Because it gives you five strength. I must have been temporarily wearing a bonus strength item that made up the difference. And now I can't find it. <laughs> of course. Best I can do is this helm, which does not make it up make up the difference. Huh. I still think I want to go with the shield idea. Maybe you get to use Stoneheart. Isn't that fun? I think this is a decent idea. And she'll upgrade once she gets one level, because then she'll have those three points. What do you have here? Uh, those are the three skills I knew about, so... Physical damage spell, summon, and physical attack that might stun. Uh, bonus for initiative. Sun skills cost 15% less. When you take elemental damage, you gain 25% elemental resistance for one turn. Alright. What are y'all hiding over here? Hi! How you doing? You get to be her first. I didn't live this long by failing in battles. Uh, well... You only really have to fail once. Ooh. Why are you guys so low level? You knew I could only get here if I did the other thing, right? I'm summoning a friend. Where are they? Where's my summon? Oh, that, that, that up there is green, I guess. We don't get to see our summon. We just kind of know it's helping, I guess. They're all they're all gonna die from that. As yeah. Team, we'll always make it out alive. They're very dead. Whoopsie! An agility shielded and German human spellbook. And a headscarf. Who doesn't like a nice little headscarf? Who, who lights these torches in these secret areas where the only thing around is a skeleton warrior? Because I have questions about that. Uh, four out of ten secrets. We're still missing most of them. Damn. Oh, I don't think we have any more hammers. No. So I got a shield, a spell book, and a headscarf. Agility Initiative. Sounds like your kind of jam. I think I'm just gonna get... I think I'm just gonna give up on this set. It seems to be kind of garbagey.
Initiative is always good. And there's some agility. A couple of those. And there's yep, Julie Necklace. It feels like I just have to stubbornly decide to use this set, even though it immediately is garbage. Really takes down the character it's based on a peg, doesn't it? Two more agility. Like, that's a two to nine bow. Pretty good. And then three agility on a shield. Isn't this nice? How much agility do you have now? 66. Dear Lord. <laughs> Calm down. Alright, uh, you got a new book. Is it better than the old book? You betcha it is, boy howdy. Alright. Everything gets 2% stronger again.